at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, August 17, 2023, Mullen launches stock buyback program. Mullen stock failed to close above $1 yesterday. Mullen Automotive has already used $3.26 million out of its $25 million buyback program. CEO David Mitchery also acquired 102,040 shares of Mullen at an average price of 98.42 cents per share. Mullen stock is down by over 95% this year. Mullen Automotive, Nasdaq MULN, stock is in focus, as the company has announced the commencement of its $25 million buyback program, effective as of August 16 and expiring on December 31. On August 16, Mullen used $3.26 million of its buyback program to repurchase 3.7 million shares of Mullen stock. We believe that our stock is undervalued, said CEO David Mitchery. The company has begun production of our Class 3 EV with deliveries pending to customers and a strong balance sheet allowing us to execute on our business plan. Unfortunately, Mullen closed below $1 yesterday. Shares of the electric vehicle company had previously closed above $1 for three consecutive business days before August 16 broke the streak. In order to regain compliance with NASDAQ, Mullen must close above $1 for at least 10 consecutive business days, but generally no more than 20 business days. The company has a deadline of September 5 to achieve this or face the possibility of being delisted. Mullen begins $25 million buyback program. Along the with initiation of the buyback program, Mullen also announced that CEO David Mitchery had purchased 102,040 shares at an average price of 98.42 cents per share, amounting to a total value of just over $100,000. However, Mitchery's Form 4 to evidence the purchase contains an interesting footnote. The reporting person's purchase of common stock reported herein may be matchable under Section 16 of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, as amended to the extent of 102,040 shares, with a reporting person's transfer on June 15, 2023 of 232,331 shares of common stock, reflects one for nine reverse stock split effective August 11, 2023. The reporting person has agreed to pay to the issuer the full amount of the profit realized in connection with the short swing transaction. On June 15, Mitchery transferred 2.09 million shares to an unknown entity. Adjusted for the 1 for 9 reverse stock split that matches with the 232,331 shares mentioned in the footnote. Meanwhile, Section 16 of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934 entails that insiders who profit from either a purchase or sale or a sale or purchase of their company stock within a time range of six months or less must return the profits to the company. Mullen's former key shareholder just settled charges with the SEC. Alt Alliance settled with the SEC neither admitting to nor denying the allegations. A former key shareholder of Mullen Automotive has settled its charges with the SEC. The SEC alleged that Alt Alliance made several materially false and misleading statements. It does not appear that Alt is still a key shareholder of Mullen stock. Earlier this week, it was announced that Alt Alliance, a financier and former key shareholder of Mullen Automotive, had settled its charges with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The SEC alleged that Alt made materially false and misleading statements concerning the performance of its cryptocurrency asset mining business and a $50 million purchase order from a related party controlled by Alt called Avalanche International. The Commission also alleged that Alt improperly recorded a $75,000 payment as being used for consulting services. However, it was actually used to reduce then CEO Milton Todd Alt III's personal debt. In addition, AAI failed to make related person disclosures in 2016 to 2021, has had long-running internal control weaknesses beginning in June 2017, and engaged in improper accounting related to its investments in warrants of avalanche during its fiscal years ended 2018 through 2021, wrote the SEC. AI restated its financial statements to correct for its erroneous warrant accounting and amended filings on April 14, 2023. The SEC refers to Alt Alliance and its former company names as AAI. Mullen's former key shareholder just settled charges with the SEC. AAI, Alt3, 
and then CFO and now CEO William Horn agreed to a settlement without admitting to or denying the SEC's allegations. Alt stated that the charges do not entail intentional misconduct. As part of the settlement, Alt will pay a $700,000 civil penalty, which was fully accrued in fourth quarter of 2022. All three will pay a civil penalty of $150,000 and disgorgement of $85,504. Meanwhile, Horn will pay a civil penalty of $20,720. Alt will also hire an independent consultant to review the company's internal controls. As of December 31, 2022, Alt owned 71.96 million shares of Mullen stock. That's equivalent to a 4.07% ownership stake. This number has not been adjusted for Mullins 1 for 25 and 1 for 9 reverse stock split this year. A 2.33 billion share resale filing dated June 26 showed that Alt would only own 62,908 shares of Mullin following the resale. Alt isn't the only Mullin financier to have found itself in legal trouble. In March, the SEC charged Taryn Pizer and his investment vehicle, Acuitas Group Holdings, with insider trading. Hindenburg Research previously pointed out that Pizer has a business relationship with Michael Walks, another one of Mullen's financiers. The short seller noted that Walks served jail time after he pled guilty to defrauding Chase Manhattan Bank for millions of dollars in 1996. Thanks for watching.